In this driver operation video, you'll learn to operate the Thermo King T-Series refrigeration system equipped with the SR2 standard truck HMI control panel. There is nothing complicated about operating and keeping a Thermo King unit running, but a few minutes listening to these instructions will be time well spent. The T600, T800, T1000, and T1200 refrigeration units are one-piece, front-mounted temperature control units designed for straight truck applications. Read and follow the directions on all safety decals and warnings on the unit and in the operator's manual. Wear safety goggles or safety glasses when working around the refrigeration system or battery. Refrigerant or battery acid can cause permanent damage if it comes in contact with your eyes. Keep hands and loose-fitting clothing clear of fans and belts at all times when the unit is operating. The unit may start at any time when the controller is turned on. The control display lights up when the controller is turned on and the warning buzzer sounds any time the unit is about to start. Units equipped with electric standby may start at any time when the unit is connected to live electric power and the controller is turned on. Be sure to press the off key to turn the controller off before opening doors or inspecting any part of the unit. Be sure to turn off the high voltage power supply and disconnect the electric cable before working on a unit. Units with electric standby present a potential electric hazard. A three-cylinder diesel engine powers these units. Model 30 units operate on diesel power alone, while Model 50 units can operate on diesel or with an electric motor using an external electric power source. The standard human machine interface or HMI control panel is typically located in the truck cab for driver operation. The HMI communicates with the base controller to provide unit operating information and to operate the refrigeration unit. The SR2 standard truck HMI control panel consists of a display panel and nine touch sensitive keys. There are nine touch sensitive keys on the keypad. Some of these keys will have more than one function which will be described later. They are the on key, off key, up arrow key, down arrow key, and the enter key. There are amber indicator LEDs located next to each of the four function keys below the display. The LED will glow when the function is active. These keys are the Cycle Sentry Continuous Run Key, High Speed Lockout Key, Defrost Key, and the Pre-Trip Test Key. The functions of these features will be described in better detail later. To start the unit, verify that the base controller on-off switch is in the on position. Turn the unit on by pressing the on key and turn the unit off by pressing the off key. When the on key is pressed, the display briefly shows dashes as the display initializes. The unit running time hour meters are shown for 30 seconds. The diesel engine run time hours and the diesel icon are shown in the upper display. If the optional electric standby feature is installed, the electric motor run time hours and the electric icon are shown in the lower display. A preheat buzzer will sound. The unit will now automatically preheat and start. Once the unit has started, the display will show the standard display screen. The standard display shows the box temperature and set point. The box temperature and box temperature icon are shown in the upper display. The set point and set point icon are shown in the lower display. When the alarm icon is present, one or more alarm conditions have occurred. If the display is not flashing, the alarms are check alarms. If the display is flashing on and off, a shutdown alarm has occurred and the unit has been shut down. Pressing the off key stops unit operation. The unit shuts down immediately and the display goes blank. To adjust set point temperature, press the up arrow key or down arrow key until the desired set point is shown. When the desired set point has been selected, press the enter key to confirm and load the new set point. If the enter key is not pressed within 10 seconds, the set point display will begin to flash as a reminder to select the enter key. The set point display will continue to flash for an additional 10 seconds. If the enter key still has not been pressed, the set point will return to the old set point and alarm code 127, set point not entered, will be registered to indicate that the set point change was started but not completed. The alarm icon will appear in the display. To operate a Model 50 unit on electric power, the electric standby option must be enabled. Warning, units equipped with electric standby can start at any time when the unit is connected to live power and the controller is turned on. Always turn the electric power supply off when handling, connecting, or disconnecting high voltage cords. 
Always inspect the power cord before connecting it to the unit and to the electric power supply. Make sure it is clean, undamaged, and dry. If it is wet, do not use it until the receptacle ends are completely dry. The unit must be turned off and the diesel engine should be completely stopped. Plug the unit's power cord into an appropriate power supply and press the on key. If the unit was previously operating on diesel power, the unit will automatically switch to electric power. If unit operation is necessary, the preheat buzzer will sound and the electric standby motor will start. If the electric to diesel auto switch setting is enabled, the unit will switch automatically from electric mode to diesel mode whenever electric standby power is removed or fails. The default setting is to not allow automatic switching from electric to diesel power. The primary reason for this is to prevent unauthorized diesel engine starts when the unit is indoors or in a location where engine operation is prohibited. Under the default setting, if the unit is operating in electric mode and standby power is disconnected or fails, alarm code 91, check electric ready input, will be set. The red LED between the on key and off key will glow, the alarm icon will glow, and the box temperature and set point displays will disappear. The alarm code will be cleared and the unit will restart automatically if power is restored. To switch from the electric power mode to diesel operation, press the off key to turn the unit off, turn off the standby power source and disconnect the cord. Press the on key to turn the unit back on. The hour meters display will briefly appear and the alarm code will reappear. Press the on key again to clear the alarm code and turn the unit back on in diesel mode. SR2 units can be operated in continuous run or cycle sentry start-stop modes. When continuous run is selected, the unit starts automatically and runs continuously to maintain set point and provide constant airflow. When cycle sentry is selected, the unit will start and stop automatically to maintain set point, keep the engine warm, and the battery charged. Not all temperature controlled products can be properly transported using cycle sentry operation. Before selecting cycle sentry operation, be sure the cargo is approved for cycle sentry operation. When in doubt, use continuous run. Cycle sentry or continuous run mode is selected by pressing the cycle sentry continuous run key when the unit is turned on. If the unit is running in cycle sentry mode, pressing this key will switch operation to continuous run mode and the amber LED will turn off. If the high speed lockout feature is enabled and turned on, the unit will run only in low speed until the high speed lockout feature is turned off or the high speed lockout timer is exceeded. This feature is typically used in noise sensitive areas to reduce unit engine noise. High speed lockout is turned on or off by pressing the high speed lockout key when the unit is turned on. Pressing this key will turn high speed lockout on, pressing it again will turn high speed lockout off. If high speed lockout is turned on, the unit will switch to low speed operation and the amber LED indicator will glow. No further high speed operation is allowed until this feature is turned off or the high speed lockout timer is exceeded. This prevents unintended extended operation with high speed operation locked out. If necessary, to return to high speed lockout mode, press the high speed lockout key again. The high speed lockout key is only used when the unit is operating in diesel mode. The high speed lockout key does not have any effect in electric mode operation. Defrost initiates automatically as required, however it can also be initiated manually. Defrost is only available if the unit is running. Features such as door switch settings may not allow manual defrost under some conditions. To run a manual defrost cycle, press the defrost key. If defrost is available, the unit will enter the defrost mode and the amber LED next to the defrost key will glow. The defrost cycle terminates automatically. When the defrost cycle is completed, the amber LED next to the defrost key will turn off. Defrost can also be stopped by turning the unit off and back on. If an alarm condition occurs, the alarm icon will appear on the display. If the alarm is a check alarm, the alarm icon will turn on and the unit will continue to run. If the alarm is a shutdown alarm, the alarm icon and the display will flash on and off and the unit will shut down.